What's happening everyone? It's DV and we got the new kit. This is the Conqueror kit. If you didn't watch my video yesterday, then you probably missed out on that. And I was kind of right about two things, okay? I was right about this one and I was right about this one. I was not right about this one. This one's this one's bad. This one's just bad. I'm gonna explain why in a moment. So yeah, we got this new Conqueror kit. It looks pretty crazy cool. It you know what? He's he's pretty cool, okay? He's got like a really cool armor, like shoulder here. He's got like a pauldron going on. And I don't know, man. He's he looks better than I thought he would. But I don't really like his like it looks like he has like a gold medal on his chest i don't know it looks like he just won the pig farm festival like with the best pig in the ranch or something i i don't know but he looks pretty cool either way and he is pretty cool so what's cool about this kit is he does plant these banners they call them banners i thought they were totems but they're called banners and i'm going to show you all you need to know about this kit in a moment here now just by the way just in case you forgot about this, this is not like a game pass kit this is a battle pass kit and it is free you don't have to pay for it you just have to grind it like i said this this is a free kit okay so it's a level 40 free kit you just need to grind out this battle pass as fast as you can by the way same goes for sheep herder and same goes for alchemist just a reminder you don't need to actually own the battle pass to get this kit okay it is free so before i begin be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and let's go and get into this so first up i'm going to go ahead and set up a custom and i'm going to show you this kit so this is what the kit looks like by the way he's pretty cool looking looks just like the giant statue version of him He's got, like, look at this little hair. Look at that little superhero, like, stylish hair right there. It's like, dink, practically gonna stab his eye. Look at it, it's gonna stab his eye. If he's not careful, it will totally poke his eye out. So yeah, pretty cool looking kit, to be honest. He's a little, you know, little GQ. Little GQ going on. All right, so he's got three items. They are 40 iron each. They are banners. So you can buy them from the item shop here. You're gonna see the fire banner here, which does do, it basically grants you in a temporary fire one enchant. I'm gonna show you that in a second. The defense banner is really bad right now. I did give the devs some feedback saying that this should be a shield banner, but right now it's a defense banner. Knock, and let me tell you, anti-knockback is not defense, okay? That is just a anti-knockback effect. It isn't defensive. Um, it's actually really, really bad. In fact, it hurts you more than helps you. Kill banner is also in here. It is only 40 iron and um, pretty affordable. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn damage banner. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us the ability to spawn a fire banner. And as you can see up here, it grants me fire one. As long as it's up, it only lasts like 15 seconds. Pretty short lived. Yeah, it's like two more seconds. It should go right. Yeah, so it's 15 seconds. The nice thing about this though, is that um, like if I plant this down, you can see it's going to start him on fire. Next thing here is going to be the defense banner. And this one's pretty bad. I'm going to tell you what it does right now. So see this? It gives you anti, basically see no knockback. It also gives you anti knockback too. No knockback, I think is a permanent thing, by the way. It's not exactly an enchant, but it, it basically means you never get knocked back. Just kind of interesting, especially if you're trying to break a bed. That could be good, but that's about it. That's the only case. And it's not really defensive in my opinion. Like I said, I really don't think it is. So the other thing I want to show you is I'm going to spawn the heal banner. We're going to get infinite of those. And we're going to put a heal banner out right there. And we can heal ourselves. I just killed those two players. Now we're healing up. It's pretty nice. Let me turn off bed breaking so they don't accidentally kill my bed. Oh, dead, dead, dead. So this thing's actually really good against, you know, like, especially if you have drones. I'm going to show you that in a second here. Just need to see where they're at. They're all over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn a drone. I'm going to spawn TNT infinite. And uh, what I'm going to do here is first, I've got to kill this guy. There he goes. Now it looks like you do keep um, your enchant for a little bit after you leave the area, by the way. It does last a little long. So we're gonna go ahead and plant these down. And let me get my drone out. I'm gonna show you this as long as I'm in the area. Now it does only last for 15 seconds, so you gotta be quick. So you see it's already over. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this. So the healing is really nice because it can't really do much, especially if you have fire with it. It's going to be really hard for them to get away from you, especially if you have that ability. Healing, healing, healing already. Oh man, it's really good for soloing. So this could be actually a really good solo kit. That's what I'm seeing. Especially if you have, you know, both of them. It's kind of, honestly, this might be a solo meta um, kit. It seems like one. I mean, that's a lot of damage. I'm soloing three players right now. Granted, I have infinite fire <laughs> totems. Mink. <laughs> oh, rip. All right. So what I need here, I'm going to get a better sword. 
I've been killing it without a better sword, by the way. Let's go ahead and get a pearl. <laughs> They're still trying, man. See, I'm practically already healed back up from um, that totem. I don't think they realize that I'm almost already healed up. So the other strat is if you pearl in, plant this totem. Man, it's good. I don't know. I'm kind of impressed. I'm kind of impressed with this kit. Get fireballs for banners. They're trying to strategize against me now. Oh, they took out my banner. It's okay. I got another one. Again, fireballs are going to be way more expensive than a banner. Rip. My M's. Thank you for your M's. 2B1. All right. We got damage now. We got damage. Need that damage upgrade. And we got diamond armor. Let's go. Now they can't break our beds and I'm not breaking their beds. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> he keeps getting knocked. Oh no, he's getting anti-cheated. Now if you're dying from um, fire or anything like that, make sure you get a little heal totem. Dude, this is a really good kit. I think we underestimated the multi-purpose aspect of how powerful this kit is, especially if you have the money. If you have like a lot of iron, I haven't really been spending much of my iron. Um, he's like, can I get your bed? This guy right here. <laughs> Later. <laughs> he was still inside the guided missile when I did that to him. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny the nice thing about this enchant is it's instantaneous again here's a great thing about this is if i do this and then i pearl over my fire is going to still be active watch boom oh man bro that kit too op yeah mike's realizing how op this kit is it's really good it's actually really good kind of think that there's extra knockback involved with this i'm not sure but i feel like the enchant has a little bit extra knockback I think it might be lagging the player a little bit. I'm not really sure. Interesting thing about this though is the totem or the enchant does last like a few seconds after you exit it. So I really, really like that aspect of it. It really makes it stronger. Um, the only thing I don't think it does is I don't think it works like that for healing. Let me see. Yeah, so healing does not actually have an enchant. That's why it's not going to be the same. But this does. No, you're done. You're done. Jeez. So one thing I forgot to mention is the totem does um, heal you more the lower health you have. And they do not stack. So if you were going to place, like, if you're trying to do, like, overflow, overrides, or anything like that, the totems don't actually stack. So you can't put, like, two totems down and hope that they're going to actually um, stack on top of that. But they do stack with enchants. So they're completely different. So if you have, a, like, fire two with fire one, they can stack. Same with static one. Um, same with static and fire. So if you have static already, it will combine with it, which is pretty cool. I'll see if I can show that today. I don't know if I can. We'll try. I don't know why I got the camera bug, man. Gotta hate that bug. The nice thing about it too is if you have Teslas and you want them to be affected by the um, enchant, all you gotta do is plant the totem around you. So if you're over here and the Tesla's over there, you can just be right here, plant the totem and your Tesla's gonna be um, powered up. Same with TNT. So if you do TNT drops, they do work. I think I showed you that in that last, but they do work with TNT as well. All right, so we're gonna get the fire damage totem right here. That way we can do a little extra damage. That's, a f that's like an early game enchant right here. This guy's gonna go diagonal. Ooh, he got wrecked. So I've been primarily using fire totems. It just seems like more logical because our low iron right now. Hey, <laughs> you got a drone. I want to go kill this guy over here. Laters. Oh man, it's such an OP combo. It's such a good combo. It's so good. I kind of want to stack our enchants. Nice. Let's go. I kind of want to bully these players, but I'm not sure if I should. Okay, we got diamond armor. I just need a fireball, and we're going to go take out red. Dude, this kid is so good. So yeah, you got to be careful. I, I died because I was ballooning and I shot a guided missile thinking I was going to actually hit someone. Sure enough, I couldn't put, I couldn't maneuver. I couldn't get out of it. I couldn't get, you can't do anything about it. So hopefully the devs will fix it. We reported that bug yesterday, but it's still in here. So rip round, but at least Gorilla's got this. 
It's like, I wish I had this kit, you know, but I have no Robux. It's a free kit, dude. This is a free kit. Man, that's frustrating, stupid bug. So yeah, definitely interesting kit. I like it. You know, it's growing on me really, really fast. I'm going to be playing with it as my primary for a while just because I do think it's one of the best free kits currently in the game. Make sure you grind up to level 40 so you can unlock it. Let me know what you think of this kit in the comments below. Some of you are going to hate it, but you probably don't really know how to use it yet or you haven't used it yet. So use it for a few days and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time. Peace.